guys, there's two FRQ problems today for homework. Um, this is the first one. It should look pretty familiar. We've done a problem very similar to this one. So you can see how it's important to them. It shows up quite a bit. They really like you to be able to use uh, a graph to, to get an integral by finding the area under the curve for simple shapes. Like, you know, that's a straight line, straight line, straight line, uh, half of a circle. You know, please, 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 please know what it's a graph of. It's a graph of f prime, okay? So they're looking for values of f negative 6 and f5, okay? So they're looking for values of the function, and they gave you a graph of f prime. So you're probably going to have to take an integral, which means you're probably going to have to look at the areas to find it. Okay, when's it increasing or decreasing? f increases or decreases uh, when something's happening to the slope, f prime. Okay, so f prime should tell you about when it's increasing or where it's decreasing. Um, find the absolute minimum uh, over the interval from negative 6 to 5. Okay, when they're talking about absolute minimums, absolute maxes, remember, you got to look at the critical values as well as the endpoints. Okay, and a lot of times they like to put them at the endpoints because they know you guys aren't going to check them. And then um, looking for the second derivative, negative 5 and 3. So this is a graph of f, so f double prime is the slope of the graph. Okay, so it's asking you about the slope of the graph. So um, think of those things while you're doing these problems. You can see it's a pretty popular problem. It reviews a couple of concepts, you know, integrals using areas under the curve, finding derivatives using slopes. Um, and guys, here, this is the solution that you can get in AP Central. So please try it on your own first and then look at AP Central to get the solution. Here's the second one, okay? Here's a graph of f, okay? It's a graph of f. They tell you it's a continuous function. Um, graph of continuous function, g, it's the derivative of the function f. So this is a graph of f. You could also cross out that and write it's a graph of f prime, okay? It's piecewise linear. Um, these are simple areas you can find. This should be pretty similar to, to one of the uh, example problems we did in class today. Um, they give you actually the equation for the curve from here to here, so it's easier than that semicircle thing that, that I went over in one of the FRQ problems today. But look, they want f of 1, and oh, they give you f1, and they want the value of f negative 5. Okay, so they give you that value, the value when x equals 1, um, and they want that one. And remember, this is a graph of f prime, so you've got to get f. It means you have to take an integral. You're going to have to find areas under the curve. Then they want you to evaluate the integral from here to there. Okay, so guys, integrals both ways. Um, Going this way, it's all areas under the curve, all these simple shapes you can find the areas of using geometry. Here, when you got to get from 3 to 6, they give you the function. That's f prime. You're going to have to integrate it. Um, when's it both increasing and concave up? They've asked that a lot. Increasing is when f prime is positive. Concave up is when f double prime is um, positive. So you, know, you should think about that and, and see what you can find. And then where's the point of inflection? Okay, point of inflection is when the second derivative, f double prime, changes sign. So again, this is a graph of f prime. So where does the slope of that graph change sign? So those are the types of things they're asking for. You can find the AP solution out there. Please try it on your own. You can see it's a pretty evenly divided problem. Good luck. It's your last two FRQ problems. It's the last work the seniors are going to do in this class. At least the seniors who have been working. <laughs> See you guys later.